Lemmings Labs. Uh, I'm your MC, uh, Pia Andrews. It's um, delighted to introduce to you Alex Krzyzanowski. Alex is the CEO of Tempesta Technologies and is the architect of Tempesta FW, a high-performance open-source Linux application delivery controller. Alex is responsible for the design and performance of several products in the areas of network traffic processing and databases. He designed the core architecture of a web application firewall mentioned in the Gartner Magic Quadrant and MariaDB Temporal Data Tables. Uh, just quickly as a reminder, please post your questions into the Venulus chat uh, for this room. Uh, if you could use the hash questions, just um, add it on your questions to make it easier for our moderators to find and um, moderate your question. Uh, and please also remember that we have a Blemming Labs, Blemming's Lab post-talk Q&A channel um, on Venulus so that you can continue to follow up with speakers uh, after the talk, including our previous speaker, Keith. Um, I'll hand over to you, over to you Alex. Um, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, let me start with a short introduction. How did we come to uh, the kernel TLS uh, handshakes? Our business is uh, custom software development, and we had a request from positive technologies to develop the core of web application firewall. It, that was in 2013. By the way, uh, the web application file was uh, mentioned by the Gartner Magic uh, Quadrant in 2015 as a vision. Uh, web application firewalls are typically uh, built on top of uh, common HTTPS proxies like Nginx or HA proxy and extend them with um, very rich uh, security features like uh, web attacks uh, filtration or layer 7 uh, DDoS attack uh, filtration. That time we realized that uh, while common HTTPS proxies are good uh, to deliver content, they aren't perfect to filter out uh, massive uh, malicious attack like uh, DDoS attacks or uh, password crackers, whatever. So we thought that, uh, well, if we have a very good uh, firewall, in the Linux kernel, the NetFilter, uh, which uh, works on TCP IP layer, then why not to extend the uh, firewall with HTTPS uh, protocol? So this is how uh, Tempest FW product was uh, born. This is basically a hybrid of HTTPS uh, proxy and a firewall, which is uh, directly embedded into the Linux uh, TCP IP uh, stack. Tempest TLS is a part of uh, Tempest FW and uh, uh, Tempest FW is uh, supposed to be a replacement or an open source alternative for uh, proprietary uh, software and appliances like F5, Big IP, or Fortinet application delivery controllers. Uh, such kind of applications are appliances, I mean application delivery controllers, are basically HPS uh, load balancers, uh, reverse proxies, which is ex uh, extended with uh, various logic like uh, DDoS uh, protection, TLS offloading, uh, web application security like uh, WAFs, and so on. In our presentation, uh, DDoS protection and TLS offloading will be the main point. Uh, also, all the uh, products uh, always have a very um, very crucial uh, line in their uh, data sheet. This uh, how many connection uh, per second, CLS connections per second they can uh, make. Uh, this important uh, characteristic uh, not only because of performance. However, speaking uh, about performance, we can make much more uh, TLS handshakes uh, per second than traditional application because we work in the uh, Linux kernel space. Uh, not only uh, for full uh, cryptography uh, handshake, but also for uh, short uh, abbreviated TLS uh, sessions like uh, TLS 1.3.0 uh, OTT or TLS 1.2 uh, tickets. And uh, 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 mainly we work faster because uh, there's no uh, context switches, there's optimized uh, network IO. But also we uh, employ uh, plenty of modern uh, research and elliptic curves uh, to make the library much faster. Besides uh, performance, uh, TLS handshakes is a typical target for DDoS attacks, so name it a symmetric DDoS attacks, like uh, establishing uh, as many TLS handshakes uh, with the servers as possible. Uh, also, 
uh, having TLS handshakes in the, in the kernel uh, provides additional layer of security. This uh, separation of uh, TLS uh, terminator from the uh, application logic, like a worker processor. This is uh, typical uh, architecture for varnish. In varnish, we have a hitch uh, TLS uh, terminator and the worker process, the var varnish uh, daemon. And uh, if some logic in the worker process is compromised, then uh, none of the uh, security crucial uh, private keys or uh, session keys won't, won't be uh, compromised. Uh, similar architecture helped uh, Cloudflare to survive a cloud bleed attack. Uh, while uh, the, uh, uh, the reverse proxy was, uh, were uh, compromised, they didn't leak any security sensitive data, uh, thanks uh, to uh, separated uh, TLS emanator from uh, uh, worker processors. During this uh, presentation, I will focus on NIST uh, 256 uh, curve, uh, mostly because this is uh, the most widespread elliptic curve and the most optimized elliptic curve, for example, in OpenCell and other libraries. While this uh, much uh, faster elliptic curve 255 uh, 19, uh, it's only can be used in elliptic curve uh, Diffie Hellman. And uh, you, uh, basically, you cannot have a certificate with a uh, curve, at least for CA. If we have a look at the uh, performance profile of uh, OpenCell and the TLS handshakes uh, DDoS attack, uh, then we see that while uh, mathematic um, the blue lines on the slides, uh, the theoretic uh, limitation for handshakes, the library actually uh, struggles from too many memory allocations, copies, and another overhead, overheads which can be eliminated. All of them are read in, on the slide. Uh, we, uh, we started from the fork of Embed TLS library. We made significant work to make it much, much uh, faster. We uh, made it uh, more than 40 times faster than the original uh, source code. Also, we borrow uh, parts of the code from Vortifus cell library. And also, during uh, our work, we reported a security issue to uh, Vortifus cell uh, library. Uh, all the libraries uh, have built-in uh, benchmark uh, tools, and the benchmark tools uh, are comparable between WolfSSL and OpenSSL. And uh, we see that WolfSSL is basically much faster than OpenSSL. However, the similar benchmark tool for TMPS TLS isn't uh, basically uh, comparable with WolfSSL and OpenSSL because in um, our benchmark tool, we uh, use the full uh, cryptographic uh, operation uh, required for uh, TLS handshake. It means that if we measure ECDSA or ECDH, we also include ephemeral keys uh, generation. So basically in this tool, you see much slower, uh, much lower numbers, but actually there are two uh, numbers which you have in TLS uh, handshake. So the more, um, available for performance optimization for our site. Uh, to uh, compare uh, the implementations, let's uh, make a small demo and compare TMPS TLS with Nginx 1.14 with uh, OpenSSL and Nginx 1.17 with WolfSSL. During the benchmarks, I will use TLS 1.2 in full handshakes and abbreviated handshakes. And uh, TLS PF, our open source uh, benchmark tool, uh, will be used. Uh, this tool basically just uh, establishes as uh, many as possible uh, TLS uh, connections with the target server, uh, and it uses uh, plain open SSL with uh, just a very basic uh, EPU and uh, fast uh, network IO. So let's have a demo. Uh, first, uh, first, let's benchmark uh, Wolf SSL. Uh, this on port uh, 9443. Uh, tickets on say that this uh, abbreviated uh, handshakes. And in this uh, benchmark, I use uh, 2000 uh, connections uh, against the server. Next, we go with uh, open SSL, also abbreviated handshakes. Uh, we use uh, four uh, threads. Uh, this is my uh, local laptop. Uh, lastly, uh, Tempesta uh, TLS. 
and uh, benchmark is run against uh, virtual machine for which has uh, 40 pus on the same uh, laptop so here we go we have the numbers uh, let's compare them uh, first of all we see that uh, wolf cell is basically slower than uh, open cell frankly i didn't uh, put that uh, put enough in effort to understand what was uh, what's wrong with wolf cell but i did a lot of uh, benchmark and basically it's uh, slower on abbreviated handshakes uh, second thing that uh, Tempest TLS is much, much faster than both of them, uh, twice faster than uh, Wolf SSL and um, uh, twice faster than OpenSail and four times faster than uh, Wolf SSL. Also, pay attention on uh, latency. This uh, an interfaces uh, latency uh, for Tempest, for OpenSail and uh, Wolf SSL. Next, uh, let's try in the same uh, sequence, uh, but uh, full uh, TLS uh, handshakes. And the last day, Tempesta. Uh, okay, uh, we are done. Um, okay, let's, um, let's uh, analyze the numbers. We have a uh, fast, uh, the open cell is faster. Okay, um, Tempesta is slower. Uh, let's, there's uh, something wrong with the benchmark. Let's make another one. I don't know what, what's going on with, probably this because of video translation. Let's uh, remake the benchmark. Okay, okay. Uh, now, now we're good. Uh, Tempest have uh, better numbers than um, this uh, uh, nine port, this uh, Wolf SSL, this uh, Open SSL. Uh, usually, we see that uh, Wolf SSL faster than Open SSL. Probably this also because we run uh, this run on um, uh, virtual machine with. Um, uh, with the video translation. Um, percentil, um, this also very uh, percentiles. Now we see uh, percentil uh, also much uh, lower than on uh, Tempesta than on uh, Wolf SSL and uh, Open SSL. Uh, so if we try. Uh, more so uh, we, we uh, uh, for, frankly this is uh, the first time when i saw uh, tempest series slower than both of uh, open cell and wolf cell let me try the last time this is still faster and we're good uh, let's back to uh, the slides if we compare uh, the data with uh, proprietary vendors uh, this uh, reference uh, on the first line uh, to video from a five engineer comparing a five big IP virtual machine against Nginx uh, with open cell built on top of DPDK. Uh, F5 is faster than Nginx for 30, 50 percent, but actually this uh, doesn't important uh, that Nginx is built on DPDK because the bottleneck of handshakes is surely open SSL, not Nginx or Linux IO. 
If you compare it with uh, another proprietary vendor, AV Vantage acquired by VMware, then it uh, makes only about uh, 2,000 handshakes per second for one CPU, which is uh, just comparable with Open SSL. Uh, why TMPS TLS is faster is this uh, mostly because we have no context switches. We directly uh, terminate TLS uh, handshakes in the kernel. And uh, also we uh, use much uh, advanced, uh, the recent uh, cryptography mathematics. The basic uh, zero copy uh, design is described on now in a def, uh, now in a def uh, paper. Uh, speaking about uh, elliptic uh, curves, let's uh, pull, dig deeper into the subject. Uh, first of all, uh, the NIST-256 elliptic curve uh, uses a uh, prime of the special form. This Montgomery-friendly uh, prime, so name it. This uh, just the sum of uh, powers of uh, true. In this uh, field, or over this prime, uh, there are defined uh, group uh, laws. In particular, uh, addition of uh, two elliptic uh, curve points and uh, doubling, which is just uh, addition of the point to itself. Uh, next, we have uh, uh, multiplication, uh, scalar uh, multiplied by elliptic curve uh, point. And the multiplication is expressed through uh, doubling and additionals. Uh, ECDSA uses uh, non-point uh, multiplication, so all uh, ECDSA uh, uh, computations are performed over the same uh, elliptic curve point, but with different uh, scalars. But CDHA uh, uses a known public, uh, a known uh, elliptic curve uh, point, uh, which is uh, varies with uh, each uh, handshake. Uh, basically, uh, multiplication in elliptic curve is uh, very similar to our usual binary uh, multiplication. If you multiply some uh, binary numbers, then you can do this with just uh, traversing all the bits. And uh, if the bit is one, then you uh, double count value and add, uh, uh, add previous uh, value. This is just straightforward uh, from the binary addition. This is the most uh, straightforward algorithm. Uh, it's uh, nobody, nobody, nobody uses uh, this algorithm, but uh, this uh, just good to understand what's going on. Uh, next, as I said, uh, CDSA uses uh, non-point multiplication. It means that uh, we uh, pre-compute uh, point doubling for fixed uh, point and can use the pre-computed uh, table uh, in our uh, multiplication process. ECDHE uh, uses uh, unknown uh, point multiplication, but it also uses uh, fixed point multiplication for uh, perfect for secrecy to generate ephemeral keys. So in total, we have uh, in each uh, TLS handshake, we have uh, two non-point multiplication and one unknown point multiplications. Uh, next, uh, since we have uh, points in uh, some elliptic curve, we deal with um, a coordinate system. Uh, most of the libraries uh, use Jacobian coordinate uh, systems. Uh, the coordinate systems works with uh, three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. I think coordinates are efficient and uh, nobody uses them, and they are just uh, two basic, uh, uh, basic coordinates, X and Y. Uh, Jacobian coordinates is much faster, and uh, if uh, if we uh, compare uh, how uh, how how point uh, multiplication with uh, some uh, combo uh, algorithm works in uh, two coordinate system, then we see that Jacobian is much uh, more cheaper because we uh, have to do a lot of uh, additions and doubling during point multiplications. Uh, next, this uh, formula for point addition in Jacobian coordinates. The uh, important thing uh, for us is that in this formula, we have a lot of uh, multiplications and squarings. In uh, actually, this uh, 11 multiplications and five squarings. Uh, all, the, uh, all the operations uh, in ellipticals are expressed usually using uh, multiplications. Uh, multiplication is a basic uh, measure for uh, the formulas. Uh, squaring uh, also uh, expressed through multiplications. 
in uh, fast uh, Montgomery multiplication with modular reduction, this is about 80% uh, from um, multiplication. For slow FIPS uh, modular reduction with uh, multiplication, this is about 90% uh, from, uh, model, uh, from multiplication. This is also modular inv inversion, very slow operation, which usually costs about 100 uh, multiplications. Uh, next, we uh, go down, and now we work with uh, scalar multiplications and uh, squarings and uh, basic, other basic uh, mathematic operations. Uh, we work with uh, four limbs. This means that in uh, elliptic curve 256, uh, we work with 256 bits. This is uh, uh, four uh, unsigned longs by uh, 48 uh, bits. And we work with uh, big uh, integers of uh, 256 bits. Uh, These are examples of uh, finite uh, field over 29. Uh, this, uh, in um, our actual uh, elliptic curve, we will have uh, that prime of uh, 256 bits. Uh, usually, our libraries use Montgomery reduction. And the only reason why I consider FIPS reduction in this uh, slide is because original MBTLS library uses FIPS reduction. We pay uh, a lot of effort in to make it uh, the reduction as fast as possible. We uh, use it, uh, the research from both by 2012, and our best result is to make it uh, only 65 Person slow is on Montgomery reduction. So we gave up and moved it to Montgomery reduction. The basic idea of uh, Montgomery reduction is that uh, in uh, modular arithmetic, you have to uh, divide uh, all your mathematic uh, result of all your mathematic results by a large uh, prime number to get the residuals. Uh, the idea of Montgomery reduction is to replace the division by some prime uh, by division by some power of 2. In this uh, case, uh, 2 in power of 256. Uh, so intermediate, uh, uh, first we uh, convert all the appearance into Montgomery form. It uh, means that we multiply them uh, by the, our prime and uh, 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 may make a residuals. Uh, after that, we uh, we do very cheap intermediate uh, computation, and after that, we uh, at the end we have to convert to the uh, normal form. So we have uh, overheads, but since we do a lot of uh, computations with uh, very fast intermediate uh, results, then now uh, in general we uh, go very uh, quickly. Uh, so. Um, at this point, we understand that the, we have actually several layers. We have a point multiplication, which deals with uh, point addition and point doubling. We have um, a scalar multi multiplications and basic operations. And we have a, a reduction formula. And finally, we uh, work with the actual uh, assembly code, which deals with uh, uh, registers and so on. Uh, in general, we have to find the balance between all the layers to make the uh, balance as the most fast, uh, fast cryptography implementation. As an example, consider that we have a, a formula for point multiplication which requires 55 uh, point additionals. Uh, we have, uh, for example, we have a Jacobian uh, coordinates which uh, just uh, considers, and we have a faster. Uh, faster formula for mixed uh, coordinate system, I think Jacobian. Uh, this uh, estimation for the mixed coordinates is uh, much better than for uh, plain Jacobian coordinates. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, we have to uh, pay for uh, coordinates normalization if we use the uh, mixed uh, coordinates. And uh, mixed coordinates implies uh, modular inversion. And uh, now, if we have very fast model inversion, then we, uh, for this implementation, we can uh, go in with the same speed in uh, Jacobian coordinates and I think Jacobian mixed coordinates. However, if uh, model inversion isn't so fast as in our implementation, then uh, usually I think Jacobian coordinates uh, due to 
additional uh, model inversion uh, slower than playing uh, Jacobian coordinates. Uh, however, when we moved from FIPS model reduction to Montgomery arithmetics, then we uh, got very nice performance improvement for 28% for CDHE and uh, 6 performance uh, percent performance improvement for CDSA. Uh, while we discussed performance, we also uh, have to discuss uh, security. Uh, actually, most of uh, most of uh, cryptography implementations uh, libraries use uh, constant time algorithms. This is uh, required to uh, protect against side channel attacks. For example, if your algorithm isn't constant time, then attacker may analyze the different time required for computation uh, depending on different uh, input data. So this is a side uh, channel. Uh, typically, uh, implementation use constant time algorithms which uh, use the same uh, time for all, any input data. However, there are uh, also possibility to use no faster non-constant time implementation and add uh, dummy operations to make the whole computations uh, with the same time. And uh, alternatively, we have a point randomization, which uh, just uh, randomizes the input data. Uh, so uh, if we go with non-constant time algorithm, then attacker still cannot predict the original input data because we uh, multiplied them for some uh, random number. And this very, uh, we can very efficiently uh, move back to the original representation. Uh, for example, if we use very fast rd uh, CPU instruction, which provide us very a uh, random number uh, generator, then we, uh, in case of model inversion, we can uh, make it almost three times faster. The bad news is that this uh, SRDBS uh, uh, vulnerability in uh, modern CPUs, uh, which uh, also, which just uh, kills the uh, perform, uh, uh, and if we use uh, mitigation for the vulnerability, it just uh, kills the performance of the instruction. And uh, this um, good also news that the latest uh, CPUs from Intel uh, already um, fixes the problem and the latest uh, CPUs uh, can run on RDRAND. So if you trust your CPU vendor, then you can use Tempestity Reds with um, uh, random, fast random number generation for, from RDRAND instruction. If you don't trust, then you can compile the source code with uh, constant time crypto and just be safe, but be slower. Uh, next thing uh, from the side channel attacks is the memory, uh, memory usage. As I said, that uh, fixed point multiplication uses pre-computer table. This is pretty small for embedded, uh, embedded TLS, but it's much larger than a layer one uh, CPU cache size for both of OpenSSL and WolfSSL. Uh, this was the uh, subject for our bug report for WolfSSL, is that they didn't uh, use the whole uh, table scan on each uh, point, uh, point addition in uh, their implementation. It means that uh, OpenSSL actually scans the whole table, and this means that about uh, 56 or maybe uh, Yes, I, I, I think 36 uh, times open cell scans the whole uh, 150 kilobytes uh, uh, pre-computed uh, table uh, to uh, go, go with uh, fixed point uh, multiplication. However, what for cell uh, directly accesses the required uh, item in the table. And this make, uh, if we uh, consider uh, cache misses, then it's uh, very easy for attacker to predict the time uh, actual uh, data, actual uh, secret, secret data depending on access time to uh, layer first uh, CPU cache. Uh, this uh, last topic about uh, internals in of uh, crypto libraries, this uh, abstraction for big integers. Uh, this, um, uh, this site for from the Linux kernel, which also uses big integers. And all the libraries uh, use them in uh, uh, more, more or less. But in BTLS overuses them. Uh, the problem is that uh, if you have abstraction for 
uh, various uh, sizes of big integers, then you have to deal with uh, memory allocations, copies, and so on. Uh, the basic uh, ideas are very well described in the book by Tom uh, Dennis, and uh, the authors of Ambit TLS used uh, the, the book as a, a main uh, reference. However, um, uh, libraries like WolfSL, OpenSL, and Tempesta TLS uh, uses um, size-specific uh, code, which means that for uh, Liptikov with uh, 256 bits, we have a, a sep uh, separate implementation for all the mathematic operations like multiplication, squaring, and so on. For uh, 512 bits, we have a completely different implementation, and all the libraries do this, and uh, all of them are handwritten. Uh, I mentioned that this uh, assembly implementation and actually uh, implement uh, cryptography in assembly uh, sometimes much easier than doing this in C. Uh, the the uh, code snippet above is uh, addition of two, uh, two big integers. Uh, size of big integers are two limbs. And we have to, uh, so what, what's going in, on in the addition? First, we uh, add the less significant uh, limbs to each other. Next, we have some carry, and we uh, add uh, more significant limbs with the carry. Uh, this is only three lines of code, but probably you need some time to check whether the carry computation is correct. However, if we go to assembly, then we do only two instructions. We add uh, less significant uh, limbs. Next, we use uh, assembly instruction, which automatically adds uh, current carry value to the next additional. So sometimes uh, using assembly, not only more efficient, but also much easier than C. Uh, there also, uh, we actually didn't uh, finish our performance enhancement of Tempest TLS. It will uh, be much more faster. Uh, first, I like uh, CPU Central have amazing AVX uh, 512, which uh, in uh, this uh, implementation, um, multiplication instruction are very fast, and we don't have um, nasty down clocking. And, uh, the good thing is that there are a lot of uh, recent research uh, exploring the CPU extension in uh, cryptography applications. Uh, we also proposed uh, the Tempest TLS uh, for the Linux kernel upstream. We discussed uh, the implementation in the last NADEF uh, conference, and also this uh, reference to our GitHub issue uh, discussing the IPI, which we suggest for the Linux kernel. We're going to focus on server-side only, and uh, we also need to, well, uh, the kernel implementation is surely very restricted in its functionality. So if the kernel implementation uh, finds that it uh, cannot uh, establish uh, TLS uh, handshake, then this should be a way to uh, fail back to the user space implementation like OpenSSL. This is also uh, very, very a serious uh, task which we need, need to solve for this implementation. Uh, before moving to the kernel, we also have to solve uh, several problems. Uh, the first one is uh, performance. As I said, we didn't finish our performance optimization, and there are two tasks which we need to uh, accomplish before uh, going to upstream. Next, it me uh, makes sense to uh, go with TLS 1.3 only for uh, the kernel implementation, and we also have an issue on our GitHub uh, for this. Uh, there's also some uh, infrastructure uh, tasks to deal with asymmetric uh, keys. And lastly, unfortunately, the Linux kernel crypto API isn't perfect. For example, it uh, have very uh, slow implementation of the hash function for SSA uh, 256. It's much slower than open cell. Also, there are some uh, extra copies and memory allocation for KTLS, so you also uh, pay some overhead for 
uh, basic KTLS workloads. And uh, basically, it's good to fix them before uh, going upstream. You can find more details about MPS TLS in our papers for NetDF. Um, and uh, basically, that's all. Uh, if you're interested in uh, fast Linux kernel TLS implementation, then we definitely want to have from you. Uh, also, as I mentioned, there are plenty of work to make uh, kernel TLS uh, in upstream. So any contributions, uh, support, uh, whatever, any help is very appreciated and we definitely want to uh, hear from you guys. So that's all. Thank you, and I'm ready for questions. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, really great. We've got a couple of good questions that have come through on the chat, and could everyone please, if you have questions, post them now so we have a chance to get to them in the next 10 minutes we've got for Q&A. Uh, so first question is from Steve Hanley. Uh, does TLS Perf run in user space? Do you have limitations running tests from the single TLS perf to a kernel space uh, TLS connection response? Um, first, thank you for question. I didn't get the second part of the question. Yes, TMPS, uh, TLS perf, uh, first of all, you can find it on our GitHub. It's a very straightforward uh, for tool running in user space. It's just open SSL. Uh, implementation which runs in multi-thread, uses ePool, and it's very, very, very simple stuff. Uh, do you have limitations from... Uh... Do you have any limitations? I um, so, sorry, I, I didn't oh, get what, what it is. Oh, I, I think the limitations are about um, any limitations running in user space, um, uh, as opposed to kernel space. I cannot imagine about any... Um, uh, limitations. Uh, the kernel works with uh, user space, in our case via um, normal interfaces like uh, turn tap for virtual machine or just loopback, uh, whatever. Maybe you can, um, maybe you can uh, specify what's, uh, which limitation do you mean? Okay. Well, um, Steve, if you want to add a, any more context, please throw it in the chat and we'll um, come back to that in a moment. We have another question from Peter Hugh. Uh, why did you use Jacobian coordinates, not Lopez Dahab coordinates, where the mixed addition takes even less multiplications? Um, thank you very much for this question. That's quite a good, good uh, question. Uh, we are just... Uh, Analyze the possibility to use OPS the hub coordinates. We didn't uh, try it. This is one of our to do to try OPS the hub coordinates. Okay, wonderful. Um, we've got another question from Amate Isaacs. Uh, why the choice of NIST P256 curve instead of the faster 25519 curve? Yeah, uh, probably I was too fast in uh, my size. I just uh, shared my slides, uh, which addresses this uh, question. Uh, can you show the slides? Uh, okay. Uh, um, oh, yeah, sorry, no, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, we'll okay, anyway, I can sh uh, say in my words. Um, uh, this um, uh, this uh, requirement from, um, from Ian, I guess from an IST, uh, that uh, CA uh, certificates can use only RSA or uh, NIST Liptikov for CA certificates. This uh, first reference uh, from uh, CAP forum. Uh, so while CUF uh, 255.19 is faster than NIST uh, 256, it only can be used basically for CDHA only. So we for first uh, focused on uh, an IST curve, which is uh, can, can be used in both of uh, CDSA uh, for certificate and the CHG. And next we will go to curve 255.19. Okay, great. Um, we've got, we're just waiting to see if there's a couple more questions come through. So I guess I just have a, a higher level question, which is more, what's uh, what's next? What's the be uh, next big challenge that you want to try to address? 
the next change is uh, performance. We didn't finish with our uh, with our research and development. For, as I said, for example, we uh, should try or pass the hub uh, coordinates. There are also recent uh, research, uh, for example, from Robert. Uh, the research is dated by 2019 about fast uh, uh, point multiplication algorithm uh, with constant time and non-constant time uh variations so we uh first uh, first we focus on uh performance stuff next we should uh, implement uh TRS 1.3 and after that probably we'll be ready to go upstream with uh tempest TLS. wonderful uh we don't have any more questions coming through on the chat quite yet so is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience about uh about the work about um any of the challenges or or where you're trying to head um maybe not i i spoke about what, what, what i had uh just please visit our github uh, make uh, comments uh, we appreciate your comments your issues so whatever Wonderful. All right, then. Well, what we'll do is we'll I'll, uh, actually do the outro then. So uh, thank you uh, very much for coming and speaking. We do have one other question that's just popped in oh, uh, hey, from hey Amatea Isaacs. Yep. Are you also going to try NIST P384 curve? Uh, P, which one? A 384. I'll just post it for um, you. Well, um, the thing is that we uh, gave up and just throw it out. The decision was uh, that it seems that nobody uses it. If you do use it, uh, please, please comment us, because um, actually no one uh, seriously optimizes it. For example, open cell um, implementation for this curve is much slower than even for PA521. Uh, so it turns out that just nobody interested in the curve. If you do interested, then we definitely want to uh, hear from you that this curve is really important. Firstly, we concentrated on only one curve as a, a main effort for our research and development. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for an uh, excellent talk. Um, uh, uh, can everyone please just note that the Blemings Labs post-talk Q&A channel on Venulus uh, is there specifically to follow up. So Amate or any of the other questions, um, uh, questioners, if you would like to follow up um, with Alexander, please do so there. Uh, and Alexander, are you happy to, to follow up with anyone that has questions with you in that channel? Okay, then that would sure, be great. Sure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very so much. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. For everyone else. Um,